All right. Well, um, thanks for joining me today. And no congrats on, a, congrats on a, a great score. Um, Thank would you. you have to give us a bit of an intro? Yeah. Um, well, my name's Sam. Uh, I've been game setting now for about eight years. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're, oh, you're a veteran. Yes. Yeah, I'm a I'm a massive veteran. Yeah. Um, and yeah, for a long time, I couldn't really break out a score that was good enough. So, um, are you from a science background? Yeah. And so I've got a bachelor of exercise and nutrition science, and I okay. yeah. mainly majored in like um, I I pretty much majored in biomed for that. More or less, but unofficially. Like I did a lot of yep. anatomy and physiology yes. um, stuff. And then more recently, I did a Bachelor of Science officially majoring in biomed. Okay. Um, so, yeah, did like a bunch more physiology, biochemistry, yeah. all, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely a, definitely a science background. Only a little bit, like... Not much at all. Like if I didn't have my science degrees, I could probably focus on the specifics of what you need for the GAMSAT without without that background. It's like oh, I reckon maybe 10% of what I learnt was maybe yeah. applicable to the GAMSAT. Do you mean like originally or like? <laughs> yeah, originally? oh yeah, maybe maybe originally, yeah. Like when you kind of started, what do you think? Originally, like I just found it completely overwhelming. Like I couldn't believe how difficult it all seemed. And uh, I was, I literally thought to myself, I'm like, wow, I'm studying science and I don't know any of this. And you just sort of, I know a lot of people reacted like this too. Like you just sort of freak out at the appearance of the questions thinking like mm. I'm never going to be able to solve this and and I think my first time in science I got like 49 or so yeah. mm. um so I even failed the section I think I, I mm. can't really remember but yeah um, that must yeah. have been frustrating coming from a science background right. yeah definitely yeah. yeah it's a it's a weird feeling you're like yeah this, <laughs> you, you literally think to yourself this is too hard and I think yeah. that's a natural thought even even now with loads of experience. <laughs> you look at it and you go, this is too hard. But then you yeah. calm down and you, and you get into it. I, I think you're right. That kind of uh, being overwhelmed with all the information and the way that the information is presented, it's, it's not like what you normally do at university as well. It's a very different yeah. kind of test. Yeah. I guess maths has always been my strong point, being able to apply different like methods but compared to when I first started I didn't really know half of what I was going to be using so I was good with like the basic maths but mm. then then there would be questions where I would think to myself yeah I have no idea okay. like what maths I need here or yeah. like how to so, solve this so it's more you didn't know where to kind of begin to yeah. use what yeah totally the skills that you had okay understand. yeah uh, I believe that you enrolled initially in the strategy classes. Yeah, I found that really useful because, yeah, when I'm doing questions, or, well, maybe not now that I've, <laughs> that I've sorted it out, but yeah. when I've done questions in the past, I would make errors based on not, not actually answering the question properly. Yeah. yeah. And the process of define, plan, execute, reflect, and, and everything that comes with that yeah. It really helps you focus on what you're answering and how you're going to answer it rather than being like overwhelmed by all these words or tables or whatever. You can sort of hone in on what you're going to do and, and then do it and then, yeah, and then you make sure you've done it right. I, find it, I found it extremely helpful, yeah. So just to clarify those four steps that we went through in the strategy classes, I'm glad that you could just rattle them off from your head. So obviously I've been able to kind of yeah. hammer them in. Yeah. Uh, so define, <laughs> <laughs> so define, essentially make sure you know what the question's asking, right? Yeah. To define the problem. And then plan is to think, what can you do? Right. Yeah. And then execute is to essentially do it or, yeah. you know, apply those skills. So in, in the case of uh, yourself, like you'd know what math skills to apply and you'd be comfortable doing them once you 
figured it out in yeah. the planning stage yet. It reflect would be just to double check that you were answering the question to begin with and you weren't taking a bit of a detour and answering yeah. something else, which um, can happen very easily if you're oh, kind of yeah. head down doing a question. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, um, and I think so, it's like a, it's a good, it's a good sort of um, rationale for anything you do, yeah, like, yeah. especially professionally, like, yeah, yeah, very useful. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a whole other conversation, but yes, you're right. Yeah, you exactly, take, yeah. You can that's take those little, four steps. That's a side note. <laughs> yeah, you can apply that to your, your whole life, really, can't you? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah. well, life is just a whole series of problems that you have to kind of get over, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Anyway, we're not going to go there. This, that's a, <laughs> yeah, this isn't a life lesson. It's just yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right. Um, so the the next course I think you did was the crash courses. Yeah, I found it more useful. Not not yep. in the sense that the strategy classes were bad, but I just found this just like really got you in the zone of yeah, you know, smashing those section three questions like they. Yeah. Excellent. You yeah. really get prepared to face anything that comes your way with, yeah. and it gives you it gives you like an <laughs> awesome set of skills. Like I, I think of the movie Taken, and it's like <laughs> like where he says, "I have a very specific set of skills." <laughs> okay, you, you get that after you do the <laughs> oh wow the okay. crash yeah. course. <laughs> I've never had anyone describe it that way, but you know, I, yeah. I might have to. If anyone asks me in the future, I'll just have to. <laughs> reference that movie that's great yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah look um yeah. i think i know what you're saying like um i do uh, you know the way that i set up that course was to try to break it down in terms of specific skills then that kind of gives you an idea of the things that you either were weak in or that you probably didn't even know you were doing as well like you, you, yeah. even though you're strong in maths would you agree that it was helpful to actually know that certain questions were asking for a specific thing yeah. for them? that makes sense yeah yeah, definitely. Like, you know, being, you would have like a bunch of mathematical skills in your mind that you're like, oh yeah, I might need to use this. But when you do the crash course, it's like, okay, here's 10 questions where you will use this specific skill yeah. and you do it 10 times and then you're like, oh wow, if that comes up in the real test, which it does, yeah. I'll be able to nail it. Yeah, I guess the main one is don't give up. <laughs> like, I've yeah, done the exams that like ten times, and yeah. it's it's hard. So yeah, yes. And if it's what you want to do, just keep going, and yeah, you know, and yeah, use Barry's courses; they're great. <laughs> I didn't pay you to say that, by he, the way. He did but... not tell me to say that. <laughs> yeah, that's that is my honest advice. Like, it well, is a great Barry. course. Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah, good on you, and uh, thanks for having a chat with us today and sharing yeah, no worries. insight. Yeah. All good.